Sean Sheehan here for Severe MMA standing alongside Paul Redmond who takes on Brandon Gertz coming up here. This man, what do you think of him? What does he look like? Oh, he's, he's a heavy hitter. He's, he hits hard. Um, strong. He's not too tall. I think he's about 5'7". Um, so he's, he's quite thick. Um, he's aggressive. So uh, I've got my work cut out for me in uh, September. I, I spoke, speaking to you there just before the press conference for a second, and we were talking about, you know, you had that very bad injury last year, and I suppose coming into that last fight, I suppose a lot of it was getting back from the injury and then getting back in fight shape and then getting back into the fight, and there was a big kind of withdrawal of emotion after. For, are you more relaxed coming to this fight? Is it kind of back to normal now? Yeah, I mean, it was, you know, I lost in a, a, a bad way over in Poland, and sort of... I would get, look, it was a broken nose, but it was a really bad broken nose. It was, it was a face smashed in. Got, got back together after that, got competing on Polaris and stuff. Uh, got back training then. I had, I had, a, I had a niggling injury the past 18 months as well. Um, a torn rotator cuff. And it was getting a hell of a lot better um, leading into the Charlie Leary fight. And I went over on it about 10 days before then. And I hadn't said that, and anything to anybody. I said, look, we're just we're after the own camp now. Let's, let's do it. And Charlie's a hell of a, a competitor as well. He's quite tough. But I went over on it then 10 days out from the fight. I'm not doing anything stupid. Like I'm quite smart with me training. Um, so we went sparring like in two days out in the fight, you know. Uh, it was in wrestling and I got tangled up with James Shane as we were sort of hitting the floor and I went over on a funny and it really sort of ripped again um, going into the fight. So uh, that's where the emotions and that came from for that fight. A lot of people are asking me. I don't know why. We cruise me always out the end of every fight. It's, it's a release. After eight to ten weeks of putting everything on hold, that amount of training, the build up, the walkout, win or lose, it's it's if you if you don't do it, you won't know. You know, it's it's just a big release of emotions, um, and that was just the one time to sort of that anybody caught it on camera, you know. Um, so that's why everybody started giving me a bit of shit after. What, what did Neil Siri say to you after <laughs> in the gym? Yeah, I would say Neil, Neil Crow as well, you know, so don't, don't mind Neil, don't mind what Neil just be telling us all, you know. But Neil's the same, you know, it's, you, you can be as tough as they come, and uh, it's just one of those things, you know. So we know, fucking no shame, no shame in saying I, I cry out the fights or anything like that, you know. Um, but it was just a, for that one, it, that one just got to me a little bit, you know. Okay, you, you, Brandon Gertz, this fight coming up. Like, to me, it's between yourself and Norman Park and a couple of lads as well for the best fighter in Ireland at the moment. Like, did, since you've left the UFC, you've what, what four one or something like that, is it? Uh, five, five, five two. Stringer win, lost Norman. Um, Sinclair win. The Norman fight very close. Though. Yeah, but it's still a loss regardless. Uh, then we got Sinclair got the win, so that was two and one. Got uh, Lucas, that's two and. Three and one, then the Brazilian, can't remember his name. Four and one, lost in uh, Poland, that was four and two, and then five and two, then with Charlie. Do you consider yourself the best fighter in Ireland at the moment? No. Who do you think is? Um, Duffy or Norman, because really? Connor's retired. He's obviously the best. Uh, double world champ. Duffy's still in the UFC, um, so he's higher in the rankings, and Norman bit me. True, I suppose. Uh, like, honesty here from a fighter, you don't hear it much. Uh, but, uh, like I asked you there in the, in the press conference, do you see this as a way of kind of getting yourself back to like the, the world level? You know, when this European series started, a lot of people thought it was an Irish guy versus English guy, Irish fighter versus Irish guy. Do you think this is the way to get you on those big American cards, those big maybe main cards, and towards the title fight? Yeah, you know, PT had said it to me there, um, yeah, pal. Uh, Never liked it. <laughs> PT said it to me there, we started, when the whole thing was sort of um, garnering interest about the Bellator coming to, uh, the, and doing the European fight series. We were talking about that. Is it only going to be UK and Irish guys? If it is, I mean, it's great. It gives guys a platform to, to fight and showcase, you know, on big arena shows and stuff. And then we, we, we were wondering where the American guys going to come over and stuff. Um, and here they are. So they've uh, also built up, asked me to get me a, a US visa, which I've got. It's approved. It's all sorted. Um, so maybe after this fight, then you might see me in America. And Brian Moore's fought in America. Uh, two, three others have uh, fought in America too. So I mean, it's not. Yeah, so it's not like uh, they're starting to move it about now. I think they're looking at, at um, with the Bellator from from just from a, 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 an outside perspective. I think they're looking at quality, getting quality and putting it over there. Um, but building it also, they're, they're actually doing a good job of building it at the minute. There's nobody else putting on arena shows in Dublin, so you can't you can't uh, can't knock them for doing that either, you know. I suppose a lot of lads kind of grown up, and I suppose you were the same, would have been the dream to get to the UFC when you were fighting. You got to the UFC and you're in Bellator now. Like, what's the situation? Are you happy where you are right now, or is it, do you want to get back to the UFC? Um, you know, 
like that, if that's you just you you grow up watching the UFC. Well, I grew up watching the UFC when Bellator wasn't around, or we know you might have heard of it. Oh, that was just another show, and it wasn't as big as what it is now. Now Bellator are literally competing head on head with the UFC. Um, I think it's still a lot of people's goals just to hear the three letters in, in the when you've done and competed. I'm happy I know Bellator. I'm actually, I was my contract now is better than what I was in with Bellator. Oh, sorry, with uh, the UFC. And I'm after, for this fight, I'm after getting a, a, a hell of a lot of um, sponsors. So the company I work for, KCMG, they've sponsored me. We've got um, SDPT, they come on board, they're sponsoring. Um, we've got O'Shea, there's a, there's a couple of, um, they're jumping on. I can wear them on my shorts now, I can wear them in the UFC. I can, uh, I can do all that, I can get the fight banner out. So I'm probably making more now, and I'm happier now. They got, they, they're trying to push me a little bit more, you know. They're, they're not rushing into the fight, they're not telling me what to do. So I'm happy with Bellator, you know professional they're getting all these sponsors in last thing when is a toe hold coming back we haven't had a toe hold in a while everyone knows you for the toe holds I think everyone's just fucking copped onto them these days you know um it's not not for the love of not trying or anything like that um but i was talking to, i was actually ch- talking to charlie leary over in london last week after his win uh, or a couple of weeks ago after his win and he said that's the one thing we were looking out for was a footlock game so they try and get the legs out they get the legs out so i it's harder to get when people don't know the or when people know your sort of game plan to, to watch out for. So it's it's probably a good thing for me. It means I have to sort of go back to the drawing board now and then see what else I can sort of pull together now. But if, if some or any one of them comes up, I'll be jumping on it. Don't you worry. Jiu-Jitsu doesn't work anyway. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks for your